the stock. Hello, Dominic here with the Sprue Review. We go for the Ford FD100 pickup truck. Okay, what we go to do? We go show you the Sprues. This is a brand new kit for me. I have never built a pickup truck. And I think I go. To, I can do it. I can do it. 100% sure I can do it. I've never built something as this. And I can show you exactly what I like and what not. First, yeah, the most important thing, the body. Okay, we go with, um, this is the body. Um, it's white, a really strong piece of sprue. What you, what you need to remove, that is uh, per protection for that's not breaking this way or this way um, it looks like nice only you have here a little bit too sharp line so you need to sanding it a little bit uh, I have here a couple pins but I think that's normal I think that's for the bumper this looks really nicely detailed it's not bad not bad and this is the bed. Uh, yeah, what you need to see. The shade, I don't know. You have here fools on it. Maybe I, I change that fools. I go and I move that with sanding sticks. I'm not sure. I can. I let it go. Uh, the windows. The windows look really good. In my opinion. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks clear. Headlights. Oh, you have the front window, the back window, and the headlights. It looks really cool. I, le I let it in this for sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not um, a person that break it open and yeah, you scratch something. And then I am not happy. Tires. Really nice soft tires nothing wrong with it a little nice profile on it come on camera focus it's really nice I have four tires all the same size for the front and the back yeah now I need to open this, this back, come on, open it, open it. I open it always with a scissor, I'm not a really person for uh, a knife. Then I uh, cut my finger off. <laughs> no, I'm really careful. Okay, um, this looks... Uh, the the bed you see all the lines that's the wood what i want to do i make this wood color that's the reason i buy in the other video i buy the the tamaya paints and the lp paints from tamaya uh, i can make a, a little wood bed from this uh dus yeah i like that i like to show that uh to the rest of the people that like that okay and this is the, the engine hood. I like this. This is really clean. Almost no pin marks. Only here a couple. Uh, I need to sand it a little bit down. You see, see a little, little bit. A pin mark. You, you cannot, cannot see it on the camera. camera. But four pin, pin marks in it. That's normal. And not on the outside, but on the inside. So that's, that's not a big, big problem. problem. Uh, this, this is really clean. clean. Yeah, you have here a couple of pin marks, but you see almost nothing from it. Just so I am happy with it. <coughs> yeah. And then we have here the truck inside and the sheet. Oh, I like the sheet. I can the sheet and make that really clean. Look at the sheet. Look at the details. Damn. Good job. This is Revelkit, 
125. 125. This for the inside of the truck. Okay, and now we have. Oh, this is the frame. It's the body frame, and this is two parts. I think the glue on the frame. I think. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, whatever. Not a problem. Look at the frame. There's one piece of frame. You have not. This is an other thing. What I normal build. Normally you have. The frame, and then you do, uh, uh, you have the fenders on it, and you know, uh, this is different. This I have never built a frame as this. So what I can do before I, I uh, glue this and this together, I can make the the brake lines. I can uh, the fuel tank uh, lines and everything from the engine to the back what you need to do right so that is really cool i like this yeah i go i go fix that that is really cool and here i have a couple of extra pieces i'm not sure for what it is i think something to do with steering system and then we have uh, I think this is oh <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I'm so tired. <laughs> this is the inside of the doors. Uh, this is dashboard. And then you have here your steering wheel. And you have here your steering. Um, your steering. We say steering. I don't know how you say that. It's for your steer. You can go to left and right. <laughs> okay. Um, I have here two little lights. I think you need to glue that in the back side. I think in the bumper or something. Red pieces. Wow, clear red. That's really cool. Uh, oh yeah, that's cool. You have uh, an, uh, a roof piece. You can make the roof another color as you want. And then you can glue it together. This is roof piece. It's going on top of this. It's cool. Uh, this is your firewall. This is your front for your... Uh, for your the front for your bumper. Uh, the springs, this piece, I don't know. This is for your steering system on the back, I think. This is your driving sprockets, I think, yes. I think it's for the back side. I'm not sure. I have never built a truck, I think. Um, this really cool, yeah, I like it. I like this. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I need to look for what it is, right? Okay. This is the the extension pipes. You have here the engine pieces. This is the engine himself with the uh, uh, gearbox. Uh, this for the top. I don't know who you say that. I think the top of it. Uh, you have here your, uh, we say in Dutch, uh, your clapper axle. I don't know who you say that in English. Uh, this is your uh, oil pan. This is your air filter, your carburetor. I don't know what this is. I think for your brakes. Uh, this is a piece of your uh, to your engine for the muffler. Um, 
<laughs> okay, be right back. Okay, I'm sorry, I thought uh, the doorbell was ringing. Um, okay, what I tell you, um, this is um, a tink for your oil pan too, I'm not sure. This piece, these are your brakes. Um, looks all really cool. Your radiator with two fans. <clears throat> and uh, you glue two parts together so yeah um, I like this one it's really cool um, what I have here is the rims um, I can show you this um, I think I go not use these rims. I, I am not a fan on these rims. It's not nice. Um, you have here mirrors, uh, door handles. You have here a couple door handles. You have here a mirror for the inside. This little piece, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, this is for the back bumper, the front bumper, and this is for the back too, I think. Of this is for the back, this is for the front, and this for the front. I'm not sure. Uh, I look a little bit in the... Okay, yeah, I am right. This front, front, this back. And you have here the rims. I'm not a big fan of this chrome stuff. And the chrome rims, I go strip this chrome and make that another color what I like um, yeah okay we go fast I set this really fast back in the in the box And then we go watching to the instructions. Instructions for Ravel. I'm sorry I'm upside down, but I can show you a couple things on it. Uh, I think it is really easy to make. You have a little bit instructions with this piece. I think it is not important, for me not. Um, I can show you here. You make here first the engine. That's always you start always with the engine. You do the bottom uh, frame with, the, with all everything on it. You do glue the engine in it. The brake system. You paint it. The wheels on it with uh, metal pieces. Yes, that is on the bottom of the box. I forgot to show you. You have metal pens for it. You can really remove the wheels. My go using other wheels. I think I go using a little bit smaller wheels. Just coming a little bit more down. Uh, I'll show you this later. Um, here this is the for the inside uh, door panels. This is your uh, radiator. This is your couch. Uh, you glue this together with your uh, uh, dashboard in it and then you glue it together and then you push it under uh, under your body and you, sh you glue it in and then it's done. I like that. Um, 
this is your uh, this is your dashboard oh wait this is your firewall I'm sorry this is your firewall and here is your dashboard and then you have here uh, a couple pieces what you need to glue it inside the windows I think it's the front and the back window yeah okay you have no side windows that is weird for me okay uh, this is to do with your front this have to do with your front um, and then you glue this on it do first your bed your back bed you paint this first and then you glue it in you paint it separately that's the most easy thing you remove the spruce in it you sanding it but that is normal everyone do that this is uh, you can glue it on your body on the right place you have little holes in your in the fender stands um, yeah for you should look like uh, you can step up you know uh, this is your your bed you glue the, uh, the thing together you glue this one in only I'm missing you glue your engine in yeah you glue your engine engine in oh you glue here your engine okay I think who huh? <laughs> okay oh uh, yeah and then you have the whole thing together um, your back bumper your front bumper you do your engine hood on it you can have a couple pieces you can push it in and can open it and close it nine of the ten people do that not and then you set it up and you go to a model show and you do the this one you set it separately next to it for people can show you can show the engine and here is it finished only what what you miss on this sprue review is the decals I forgot the decals of course you have decals um, I have no idea what to do with these decals I think I use nothing <laughs> um, I like this not this is not my style uh, I could paint everything Dus yeah, uh, maybe a couple from Foos but I am not an you can use the the dashboard decals well, you have a lot of decals for it for your bed to I go paint this I'm not a decals not nice I paint I go paint this stuff um, and I go make the metal pieces with metal foil I need to buy that stuff but that is for another day um, so yeah this decal sheet is really nice it looks really clean so yeah this is the sprue review from the fort yeah I like it this is the sprue review this is garbage. Oh no. Oh no. I forgot my glass. My glass in the box. This is the Foos Ford FD100 pickup truck. Okay. Thank you for watching, guys. I see you all in the next one. Like and subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.